It's been an interesting time at the Dubai Air Show earlier this month. While commercial aviation happily chalked up sales at the show, military aviation, which goes less by numbers and more by presence, saw some new visitors at the show. I'm Saurabh Joshi. You're watching the Stratpost special report on the Dubai Air Show 2023, and here's what the flight line looked like. This is Saurabh Joshi. I'm at the Dubai Air Show 2023, and here's a look at some of the most interesting military aircraft on the flight line. Let's begin with fighters and first name checking India's own Tejas light combat aircraft, which is on static display and has also been conducting flight demonstrations in its second time at the Dubai Air Show. Also on display is Pakistan's Chinese origin JF 17 Block 3. Pakistan expects to acquire 50 Block 3 aircraft, which include an ASA radar, head-up display, helmet-mounted display, new digital flight control system, and missile approach warning. But moving on to other fighters. The Indian Air Force has a requirement coming up for 114 new fighter aircraft. It's the successor to the earlier and cancelled medium multi-role combat aircraft contest, otherwise called MMRCA. The new contest is for multi-role fighter aircraft and appears to have dropped any specific weight class requirement even though the previous contest did not adhere to any such requirement with aircraft ranging from the Saab Gripen and Lockheed Martin F-16 to the Eurofighter and Rafale. By the way, the Kuwaiti aircraft here are the first Eurofighters fitted with a Captor-E ASA radar. But the new contest also has an interesting new contestant the Boeing F-15. The Boeing F-15 QA of the Qatar Air Force is displaying its flight capabilities here at the show. Boeing has developed a new variant called the F-15EX that is a further evolution of the Qatari F-15 QA. Now the F-15 is in the same weight class as India's Russian origin Sukhoi 30 MPI fighter, much heavier than any of the fighters in the older MMRC contest. And while Russia is also offering its Sukhoi 35 fighter for the new Indian contest, it's unlikely to be selected by the Indian Air Force. But the F-15EX has been ordered in numbers by the US Air Force. And Israel, Poland and Indonesia are also planning to order the new fighter variant. Don't miss all the granular details on the new F-15EX from the Dubai Air Show in a special report on the aircraft coming up on Stratpost. Moving on to logistics and transporters. requirement for medium transport aircraft. There are three contestants and the first is the Airbus A400M which has been ordered by 10 countries and a total of 178 aircraft have been ordered so far. The aircraft was conceptualized to bridge the roles of tactical and strategic airlift besides mid-air refueling. Bachelor number two is the Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules already in service in the Indian Air Force. The tactical airlifter is often checkmarked for its ability to get into absolutely awful places with an ease that many aircraft would find difficult. And that's where the newest contender comes in, from Brazil. The Embraer C-390 is the newest aircraft of the three, the only one of the three with a turbojet engine and which achieved full operational clearance earlier this year. It's picked up some neat victories in the last few months, being selected by Austria and the Czech Republic 
for a total of six countries. It's worth noting that Korea Aerospace Industries is also displaying a model of its new MCX transport aircraft design at the Dubai Air Show, which might have some interesting new capabilities that it could include a mothership role to air launch unmanned aerial vehicles and rockets for space missions. But this aircraft is still in the concept stage and it will probably be many years before it comes together. For now, Embraer is taking the C-390's mid-air refueling capabilities to the next level with the addition of a boom as part of its agile tanker concept. Don't miss all the specific details in our special report on the aircraft coming up on Stratpost. Next, we have the South Global Eye of the UAE Air Force. The Global Eye is an airborne early warning and surveillance aircraft based on the Bombardier Global 6000 aircraft. The UAE was the first customer and operator of the aircraft and has ordered five of them so far. Sweden has also ordered two aircraft with an option for an additional two. Other countries like Denmark, Norway, France and South Korea are also checking out the aircraft. The Global Eye will eventually transition to the Bombardier Global 6500 once the production of the Global 6000 comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed that special update on military aviation at the Dubai Air Show. Don't miss the special reports on the Boeing F-15 fighter and the Embraer C-390 airlifter coming up on Stratpost. But for now, if you're anything like me, you're probably hungry for more aircraft. So let me leave you with some bonus visuals from the show. Enjoy. Enjoy.